So I'm going on vacation for six days to Puerto Rico, and I'm bringing only this 12-inch Retina MacBook with me. Now, for those of you who watch this channel, you know that I have a healthy appetite for MacBooks, so it's going to be quite a challenge to survive on just this one tiny, low-powered machine for six days. Now this is also going to bring me just a little bit out of my comfort zone because I will be documenting my endeavors with a vlog. Now I've never done a vlog before and I don't really know anything about them so what I did is I went on the internet, as you do, and I looked up vlogs and so I'm just gonna do what everyone else does. So sit back and enjoy this highlight reel of the, the most cliched vlog things ever. Oh, well. It is five in the morning. We're packing it up. It means it's time to hit the road. So I figure, yeah, we'll do a we'll do a quick, you know, slow-mo B-roll sequence montage and we'll be in Puerto Rico in no time. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Oh wait, hang on, I think I jumped out of the montage too early. We're not in the hotel, give me a sec. There we go. What a wonderful world. So what's going on guys? We're here at the hotel. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I thought I could do it, I thought I could pull it off, but I can't do that. So I'm just gonna do that transition where they cover the camera. Okay, well, that didn't really work. So now we're back inside and I've got the MacBook here. And I have to say, as, as a travel computer, this thing is pretty much the best, oh, it's pretty much the best out there. Um, on an airplane, it fits in the tray table perfectly, especially in a cramped, normal person seat and not in first class. Um, a computer such as this is, is really great because it doesn't take up much space. It's incredibly light to be pulling in and out of your bag. And I think it just, it really just does the job perfectly. The battery is fantastic. And my battery is not running at full capacity. This machine is about three years old. So the battery has about 200 cycles on it, which is pretty average for a computer of this age, but it still holds its battery very, very well. So I watched a two hour movie and did some like listening to music and light video editing on the four hour flight and that used about 26% of my battery. So really it's not too bad at all. Now another thing that this is really great at is it keeps your carry-on luggage really light because it only weighs I think like two pounds or something like that. So it's a really fantastic device for going on a plane, for putting in your bag and just walking around the downtown area of San Juan. Oh, my arm's getting tired. See, I, I don't actually have a selfie stick because I'm not fancy enough to bring one around with me. So I'm gonna just use my arm for that. So I'm gonna switch hands actually. That's kind of weird. So I'm gonna go do a couple more things. We'll do like a short little montage thing. And then we'll talk about the video editing and how a computer like this does for travel vlogging. <laughs>
Ta-da! Okay, so now we're outside walking around because that's what people do in vlogs for some reason. And none of the admittedly small amount of people out here think that I'm weird. Wow. So, the MacBook, how does it do for vlogging? So, video editing on the go. Now, if you're gonna be vlogging, realistically, you're gonna need something that you can, at the very least, look at the footage while you're still out and about. And the MacBook does a fantastic job of not only that, but a bit of light video editing as well. Because, let's face it, vlogging isn't the most intense video editing that you'll ever need to do. You basically have a couple of clips of video, some audio for either your voice or your music, and that's pretty much it. Now, you may have noticed in this video I did just a little bit of keyframing, so some of those text effects that you saw, and a little bit of either speeding up or slowing down the footage. And the MacBook handled it pretty well. So granted, it's not going to be the best device for video editing, and it certainly won't be your primary device. But for vlogging, I think it does just fine. A little bit of context. My MacBook is the first generation of the Retina variety. So it's an early 2015 with the upgraded processor. Now, the early 2015s were criticized because their processors aren't that great. So if you buy anything newer, or certainly the current generation, you're gonna have a lot better performance in Final Cut, especially for rendering. So I noticed a few dropped frames during playback. I say a few, it got pretty bad if I didn't pause and let it render a couple of seconds or minutes ahead of me. But as I said, anything newer than my MacBook would probably be even better. Now, the other thing that helps with my MacBook is I have the 500 gigabyte storage. And this means that I don't really have to carry around external hard drives because I had enough space for a decent sized Final Cut library, certainly for one vlog with a couple, you know, 20, 30 gigabytes of video files. So having that extra storage really makes a difference. So that'll pretty much do it for my thoughts on the MacBook for video editing. As usual, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Luke Biani. Don't forget to join my subreddit and I will see you guys in the next video.